So our third fight of the evening seems Liam Righthook Rich, a Honda technician, 22 years of age from Clevedon, against Jerry Frictionburn, 33 years of age from St Anne's Park. He's a floor layer by trade, and he's actually fighting for charity tonight. The recent Philippines typhoon that we all saw, that's his chosen charity tonight. But immediately both men come out swinging heavy bombs, and they both land, and they go straight into the clinch because of it. And they've planted their feet early and they're throwing the big bombs and neither wants to give ground. And you can hear the crowd responding to that. And that was more of a slip there really, I feel, from the red corner. Both men throwing leather consistently. And if one of them lands cleanly with planting their feet like that could change the complexion of this fight. At the moment, both men still there, both still comfortable. And again, both throwing leather. Good left and right coming forward from Rich in the red corner. Burn responds. So they're working on the tape in Burns' corner and the helmet in Rich's corner. And they're ready to go again. So Burn pushing forward now. Rich looking to respond and lands with two clean right hands. And away they go once more. Rich goes forward with the jab. Somebody's bleeding. And I think it's the nose 
of Rich in the red corner. It's not much, but oh, a good jab from Byrne. And then suddenly Rich responds with heavy left and right. And I thought Byrne looked like he might wobble there for a minute. Tough chin on the man. But Rich got through cleanly with left and rights there. So there, the end of a very tough round for both men. Both got through some very heavy shots, but they're still there, ready for round two. So round two of a potential three, and there's some heavy shots landed in the first. And both men again planting their feet, and every shot is full-blooded. There's more of a push down onto the shoulders of Rich than it was a knockdown. So Rich, 22 years of age, 11 years younger than his opponent. And again, they tie up after trying to throw the big bombs. And this time it's the right hand of Byrne that lands, and you can hear his fans' response to that. He's brought big support here tonight. In team stats, after two fights, it's one apiece. So whoever wins this will take their team one ahead. And they turn, and again, the right hand just misses from Rich, but Byrne really throws him to the floor there. It's not a count, the referee saying, I know it. Jason there going, yep. It was more of a push, and asking them probably just to tidy it up and clean it up a little bit. And the way they go once more. Left lands from Rich, but Byrne responds, two-fisted, and then you hear the crowd, and again, it's another throw, he's pushing him down. He's going to possibly be warned for this, if it keeps happening. Jason can have a word with him, it's the second time he's thrown his man. And the stiff jab from Byrne lands, and then the right hand staggers Rich. The best shot of the fight so far from Jerry Byrne was that right hand, and it bloodies the nose once more of Liam Rich. Clean through the channel, and then a good stiff jab from Rich to the face of Byrne, who misses with his big right hand attempt. Byrne coming forward once more. Looking to unload left and right. As I said, he had the best shot of the fight, but it's still close. So third and final round and still everything to fight for. And away they go once more. Burn pushing forward, looking to land that heavy right hand again. Yes, it was a left hook, it was also a bit of a push. So away they go once more. Byrne pushing forward, head down from Rich, going to have to keep that head up. And they both land with the jabs, and they tangle up once more. It's been a, a distance problem for both men, just a bit too close to do clean work. There's been a lot of effort, a lot of determination, and a couple of very good right hands like that from Byrne. 
but most of their work has been smothered in close like it is now. And so Rich pushes forward once more. He's tired, his head's down. He's fatigued. Does Byrne realise it? If he just kept a little bit of range and threw those long shots, Byrne could possibly finish it here, but I don't think he knows just how tired his opponent is now. Throwing leather by instinct, Rich. And then you can hear the crowd's response as Byrne fires back. Two very tired men here as Rich looks to hang on now. Breathing heavy, he's shaking his head, he's looking for the bell now. And he lands with a double left, real courage here because Rich is out on his feet in terms of stamina, but he's still doing his best to continue. And Byrne trying to capitalise now. As he pushes forward once more and he lands with the last right of the fight. And I think that that will edge this in favour of the blue corner. It's one all in terms of team fights. But I think in this third fight of the evening, blue is going to take this decision. But two big gutsy men. So Jerry, fresh out the ring, how are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm tired but buzzing, best feeling ever. It was just, it was incredible, the crowd, the pyrotechnics, the music, the... I kind of stood at the top waiting for a moment in my song, I had a cue in my head and coming down to hear everyone, it was just fantastic. Now you won your fight against Liam Wrighthook, Rich, yeah. how did that feel? Uh, he was tougher than I thought he was going to be. Um, he obviously trained, because I know he had a bad knee, um, so fair play to him, he's, he's obviously trained around that and trained really hard. Uh, I mean, I have myself, I've been training sort of minimum six times a week now, for as long as I care to remember, and eating broccoli and salmon and all of that for the last two months, so, yeah, so I, I think my fitness told in the end, and that's, that's what won, but fair play to him, he was, he was really tough to beat, yeah. That's it, you've been following this strict regime, training pretty much every day. Yeah. Just how prepared did you feel when you actually stood in that ring and you can see everyone in, in front of you, the crowd screaming? All day, I've been fine. I actually had a little sleep earlier on, which I didn't think I'd manage. Um, and then, like, 20 minutes before, you know, when Lee was out having his first fight, and I was like, oh, oh, wow, it's, uh, it's time to go now, you know, and uh, the nerves kicked in a bit then, and, uh, I was psyching myself up out the back and the lights were going off and coming on and I was like, what's going on, you know? And, uh, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just, yeah, the, the, it was a bit nervous beforehand, but once you get in there, he actually caught me with a really good punch straight away. My, my plan was to land my punch first, but I think he caught me first. And uh, and yeah, to be fair, that first punch is, uh, is a good way to get yourself in the fight. So I felt that a little bit, but that also switched me on, so. And Jerry, you've come out a bit battered and bruised. Yeah, you <laughs> Now, you didn't actually feel that happen, so the adrenaline when you're up there must be huge. Oh, I mean, t to be honest, like, even the punches don't hurt like they would hurt normally, you know what I mean? Because you're so psyched and, you know, you feel them, obviously, but, yeah, it was just, um, 
I don't know, it's weird, like, it's, it's, I've never done it before, so it's hard to put it into words, but just, you know, and the guy's in the corner screaming at you and all that kind of thing as well, and you're like, you're blowing, you know, and it's, yeah, incredible, though, absolutely incredible. So, overall, have you enjoyed the programme? Massively. I mean, I would thoroughly recommend it to anyone, um, just for getting in shape, if for nothing else. Um, I mean, I've I've lost a little bit, a good bit of weight since uh, since I started doing it as well. So it's I'm as fit now as I've been since I was a kid. So you know, I would I can't speak highly enough about it. It's scary and it's tough, and you'll you know at times you'll hate the coaches for what they're putting you through, and you think, what the hell am I doing this for? But it's all worth it in the end. I mean. Like I say, was, like Phil was saying before, it's 10 weeks for 6 minutes and uh, it, is, it is just amazing, it's just absolutely amazing, sorry. <laughs>